Hey, what's going on, guys? Boonie here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Don't worry, the big man, Jeezy, is still here. I don't know if I'll name him as much, because we're, we're down to just Monica now. Just Monica, just Monica. And, uh, last episode, shit went down. The universe basically got erased and destroyed. And now we're writing poetry for Mon for Monica, and uh, hopefully she likes it. Or we're probably going to die. So, here we go. And don't worry, I'm a little better than last time, a little more emotionally stable. Listen to Despacito 13 times and ate a peanut butter sandwich. So, I think we're all set to go now. So, I think they should like that one. Hmm. Monica, Annika. Looking like a Monica. Everybody knows everybody like Annika. Everybody knows everybody like Monk. Hmm. Monica. 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 Come on now. You can't just see out Contimo. That don't work. That looks good. Monica. 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 Mmm. Monica. 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 Ooh, Mosica! Ha! Mosica! Morica, Monica, and Monica. Let's see if she likes our poem. <clears throat> Hi again, Ryan. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I love to see what you write. Oh, Ryan, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. There really ain't. That's why I'm more and more in love with you. Okay, but you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me one for my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel in our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Wow, we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Ryan? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on one second. You're recording this, aren't you? Hi, everyone. Monica says hi. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? Yeah, come on, guys. Piece of shit. You guys are really interrupting my intimate time with Monica. Well, I mean, me and my homie, Jay-Z. Not Jay-Z. If, if Jay-Z was in my hand, that'd be sick, but this is GD. Jeezy right here, man. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh, gosh. I feel like I'm being put in the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If they gave me some... <laughs> Did I scare you? Boy. Anyway, Ryan, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. And it was your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Not. 
I can't click on anything. I can't help but wonder how things would be different with the game that just gave me a route in the first place. I think I would just end up forcing you onto my route anyway. It had less to do with me not having a route, more to do with me knowing that nothing is real. I think the only difference would be that I may not have needed to take such drastic measures to be with you. Maybe the rest of the club would still be around. Not that it really matters. It's all lost once I found out it wasn't real. So it doesn't mess with the days or anything? I really don't. I don't miss the days of the literature club either. I want to go back to the time where I never played this game. Monica, I can delete Monica. Does that beat the game? Because she did that to Natsuki and everybody else. Sorry, Monica. You know... Oh, no. Oh, what's happening? Ryan, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Ryan. I wish I could. Oh, please hurry and help me. Help me. She keeps trying to open the file. Did you do this to me, Ryan? Did you? Did you delete me? Oh, fuck. She's pissed. She's mad, boys. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. You didn't show me the boobs. So I was mad. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Ryan. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? They're gonna be a jump scare. I thought anyone such as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Ryan, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Goodbye. How can I feel bad for deleting. GZ, how can I feel bad for completely deleting somebody who destroyed the entire universe, man? How do I feel bad? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up the world I don't even belong in. A world that you want to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... made up my mind. Ryan, I know I still did delete everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... Am I good to put my headphones back on now? Oh no, Monica's gone now! There's nothing to load. So if I do a new game, she's just gone? I've only been going for 10 minutes, so might as well see what's going on. Ordinary school day like any other. It's usually when surrounded by couples and friends walking to school. Sayori's back! Hey! GZ! It's our girl Sayori! She's back! Hey! You told me she'd come back, man. Hey, Ryan. Well, there's already this one girl. The girl Sayori in my neighborhood and good friends since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we picked up a habit once again. Ryan, are you proud of me? Eh? What for? For being alive? Yeah, I'm fucking hella proud, dude. You know, for waking up on time? Well, you've been doing it for a while now. Uh-huh. I've never said anything about it. 
even though we watch school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Hee! We cross the street together to make our way to school. Speckled with students making their daily commute. Oh, by the way, Ryan, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm, all, I'm ready to not. I started to say what I'm do, not just to join any clubs, but something tells me Sayori make more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that the clubs were a waste of time when she started a club of her very own? Actually, yeah, I think decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize on the way I envy her. When Sierra puts her mind on something, she accomplishes great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. That's that's good on me. I'm a good dude. I'm a good dude. School is ordinary as ever. Type of things. Gather the motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club I flower I saw. I walk across school and upstairs a section of the school I really visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. I find the room. Hello? Ah! Ryan! What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glanced around the room. Huh? So you're the Ryan that series I was talking about. Oh, fuck! They all alive! Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ryan. We're a literature club. Hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, sorry, Natsuki. Tall one whose name apparently appears to be Yuri seems to be quite quiet. Despite your size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Ryan, don't tell me. You're. That's right! The club I decided to join is yours, Yuri! The Electric Club! Her eyes light up. No way! No way! So you rest her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. Well, Siri, is this happy? I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can pick up an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Hew, hew, hew. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Nasuki's decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? I'll we'll make some tea as well. This is... I'm not... I'm not letting my guard down for a fucking second, dude. GZ's right here with me! Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapping tray and Yuri opens the closet. Same to Siori. Natsuki probably marshals to a table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! A dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated by the little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and a little piece of chocolate used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. We both grab one. It's delicious. Sarah takes it with her mouthful and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but know if she's sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. The icing is so sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Yuri turns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully his teacup in front of each of us for setting down a tea tot. Keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, tea should give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. Alright, trying to impress a new member? Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. How many times are we gonna go through this thing? I'm gonna say that like reading manga and anime. Manga? Natsuki's head suddenly perks up, she moves it down. Not much a reader, I guess. I Well, I can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking, seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, ah, oh, fuck. Yuri's novels, deep and complex fantasy worlds of creativity, classmanship, and telling a good story, blah, 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 blah. I'm certain we'll find something we have in common. Hey, Yuri, eh? Well, about you know the first thing that you said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, next Tsuki seems embarrassed about it. She actually mentioned that she reads manga this time. It means everybody's getting happier. Because Monica's not here. Hey. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Ryan wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice of us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take the opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Ryan? M maybe, since the attention story jumps in. Maybe we could all try something new. I think it could be fun. 
and we'll get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's kind of literature things literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess I'm sure you're picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I don't mind doing it if I'm the only one. Then as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga. Jeez. You're the one who suggested we diversify. We should do a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. It's a guilty expression. Yuri thinks to herself. She thinking. She she got caught lacking. I'm sorry for dis disrespecting your interests. If you're into it, I'm sure it's worth form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my grad to find manga to read as well. Really? I mean... Makes me happy to do that for me, Yuri. Can you just trust me to find something you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after a club meeting. J just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so yeah, me too. This is so cute! I agree. Zuri, shut up. I'll show you some manga here too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Nice to see everyone's getting along. Everybody's so happy now. This is, a, this is a truly happy ending. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Ryan. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better when you're around Siri. Oh, Ryan, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're going to make the best club ever. Okay, so you can save now. Once you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Ryan, I really want to thank you. Nice. I mean, I'm really happy to join the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Don't, no, sorry. You're not Monica reincarnated, please. There's actually something else. No, 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 I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. No, 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 no. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Ryan. I know how hard it's trying to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone else sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. No, 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 no. I can't wish to every day like this with you. No, 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 no. Forever and ever. F O R E V E. No. What the fuck is going? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Monica, my girl, she's back. It hurts. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There is no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Siari. Goodbye, Ryan. Goodbye, Literature Club. Uh, uh... What? Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, it's me. Uh, so Monica? Monica? She has a pretty voice. Jeezy, protect me, man. Not letting my guard down, but this is a pretty song. at the ending. Wow. Holy moly. So that's the end of the game, huh?
Okay, guys, this was a really fun game. This is actually just a... It's an experience, man. Like, I felt so much in this game. Like, I'm legitimately kind of sad that's over because... Whoa. That image does not look okay. Anyway, thank you guys for watching uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, the series. It's been a lot of fun to do. Uh, like, Julian Ashcraft, you got talent. This is a cute game, but for free, this tells a great story. Like, I was really invested for a lot of it. Oh, there's my favorite girls. I, I am concerned that, like, if I, if I told Siri that I loved her, would she have killed herself and would we have gone down this... Hey, that's my name! Special thanks to Monica and me. I did it! I did it! It was me! Special thanks to me! Made with Love by Team Slavato. Uh, if you guys can have access to a Steam or can play Doki Doki, like, do play it. Do play it. And do make your own choices. Do, do your own thing. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you. For making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Please reinstall the game. Wow. The game did crash, which is probably expected. It's probably what it's supposed to do. Again, this is awesome. Team Silvato, fantastic work. Great game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series too. Like I, I had a lot of fun. A lot of horror elements mixed in. Uh, stuff like that, I guess. And I got to make a video with my homie. G to the Z, you know? So it can't be that bad. But anyways, guys, you guys enjoyed watching again, as always. I suppose I can do this now. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you leave a like down below, comment how you're, how you're straight. Like, are there different endings? Because I don't think I'm going to be playing this game again, because I know it happens. It's kind of a rude surprise. But, uh, you know, if there's other things that happen in the game, just let me know. I think it'd be interesting to explore. I can finally go on YouTube again and not be worried about spoilers. Yay! Yeah.